Hey guys, Andrew Dwight. Look, I'm just going to quickly show you how to separate an estimate. And to explain what that means is basically we've got a house that's been drawn up by an architect or a designer. It's kind of basic. And inside of the estimate, it comes out with a whole heap of information and it is labeled the way that we would probably order it and we can associate prices and everything to them. However, really need to uh, figure out how to get information and where it comes from. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just give you a demonstration. So this could be the house, and we might have a little bit of landscaping in there. Let's have a look. Uh, go to here and grab a retaining wall or something here, uh, or a fence. Okay, I'm going to put my fence here, and we might have a retaining wall at the back. Don't worry about that. Okay, and I'm just going to choose a, a, a solid concrete wall and that might go from here to here to here to here okay and you know we at the estimating stage that we're at we might only want to know about uh, just this concrete wall and there's a way to do it okay to figure out where things are so if I go to here and right click entity info you'll know that I have my external uh, landscaping layer there uh, if that dock it over there okay and if I go to here this is a group actually so uh, it's, this is just saying that there's several things grouped together. Now if I go inside of it and break inside of it, you'll notice that I have 19D concrete wall. Okay, So the layer is where it's estimating from. So when I do a takeoff, okay, and I went to 19D concrete wall, it's told me I have four walls and the total cubic meters inside of those four walls. Okay, And the other one I had was external landscaping and it tells me how long that fence was. Okay, but sometimes you've got a massive model with trees and so many things and you, you really don't know where things are, are. You can do several things. You can go into your layers. I'm just going to uh, close down a lot of this stuff here. Components, I need that open. Styles, and we've got layers, okay. So I can turn things on and off according to what I want to see. And they're according to the layer inside here. So if I want to turn this one off, I think it was Entity Info 32 External Landscape. You can go in and you can turn those things off. And this is just one way of doing it. I'm about to show you another way in a second. Okay, you'll notice that my landscaping is gone. Or you could do it the other way. But I'm going to show you a quicker way, a much quicker way to figure out what it is you want to do. So you might be at the stage where you only want to estimate the fence. Use Control A, which basically selects all. Okay, deselect by pushing Shift and hide the rest of the model hide okay and now when I do a takeoff it's only going to show me uh, my fence okay it's very simple what we're looking at is what we're estimating go control Z back here and I might want uh, to go control A and I really only want to know um, that and say these two this one and this one okay hide I've first set up a shortcut as H on my keyboard, right click hide will do the same thing. And now I can estimate the fence and the two walls. Okay, so you see I have concrete walls, two of them, and the quantities of those concrete walls. It's a great way to break down information inside of a model so that you can digest it a lot more easy, or you can export it to Excel just the way you want it to happen. I'm going to control Z again. Pluspect also does this by default. So if I just went to structure and I went take off it's only going to give me what's in structure okay flooring framing and post groups and that's created from your scene creation so I'm going to go back to all okay so just as, as an end result right click entity info will tell you where it's going to take off okay yeah okay uh, you can change those layers you can move them around if you please uh, you could group things together so you might say well you know what I'm just going to group these lot here right click group and I'm going to hide them and now I can just take off these. There's, there's lots of different ways to do it. Uh, get used to setting up keyboard shortcuts and uh, taking off and don't forget to put your prices in. Once you put your prices in uh, you can just have a full bill of quantities associated with it and the new Pluspec 17 uh, Elite comes out with some really cool features that allows you to import a whole heap of things like supervision time and uh, you know, it might be drawing time. We've got a, a new time management tool coming as well. Uh, check it out, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, comment here. Cheers.